Fifty gone for long. I like that. Correct. Good. Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. Today we've got a brand new product. This is the Mr. Kipling Cocktail Fancy. My name is Michael Jameson. My name is Nathan Peterson. I apologise that I'm just looking at a fly that's in my room. My name is David Goss and I cannot wait to dry these as I am a massive fan of Mr. Kipling French Fancy. You're Obviously. also a massive fan of cock. Uh, and I do fancy it right now. So, correct. There's three flavours. Raspberry Daiquiri, Peach Bellini and Pina Colada. Fact. And I'll tell you what I don't... Can I... Right, first of all, let me just say a little bit about Mr. Kipling. Let and the, his French fancy. Let the French fancy aficionado speak. Starter. Potential. Does anyone, please comment, if you do, does anyone like the brown French fancies, the chocolate ones? Yes. I think it's a myth. I think the brown ones are a myth. A myth. Scrap them. Keep, keep the yellow ones at a push, but just do a whole eight pack of pink French fancies, because everyone knows... Is it eight pack or is it six pack? Shit me. MJ's just pointed something out. They are actually doing now uh, a pack of just eight, which is brilliant, because I think they're only doing that because people like me... <laughs> I've decided enough's enough. <laughs> people don't like the brown ones, people don't like the yellow ones. Can we, can, we, can, we, can we not say people don't like the brown ones and the yellow ones? Ah, uh, that's... Uh, can I just say people can, do can love black people? I just say that people. I like all colours. <laughs> I like all of them equally. I love all colours equally, but I think it's enough is enough. And it was time to do a bag, uh, a box of eight strawberry fancies, which are the which pink is the pinkish, cakes. Pinkish um, Caucasian colour. Uh, obviously everyone knows the pink one's the best which is why they do the big cakes of it the big birthday cakes of it Every, my, also my, the Christmas edition the frosty ones that are like vanilla they're insane they're lovely bring out they're an egg bag of them ones. which you do at Christmas they're, they're fantastic pathetic you're already going to annoy me in this video I can tell <laughs> I can tell because you're literally I was about to say because you're literally the minority which would have tied in very badly with everything I've said so far <laughs> This product doesn't contain alcohol. I'm oh. actually really looking forward to this. However, however, should they, should they not follow be... us on Instagram at Mr. Kipling Cakes? We Hashtag tweet. Better with Cake. I might do it. Should there not be mocktails fancy then? If they're not, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, Correct. there's no alcohol. It should be a mocktail. Um, I will say this. Why <clears throat> are there two raspberry daiquiri ones and three of the other two? Because it's only an eight pack. But I'm still irritated by it. Yeah, I am. It, it. What would you want? Do you want a, a cake that's a third of? Ah, oh, you're gonna irritate me this video. All I'm saying is <laughs> they do six packs, don't they? Six packs uh -huh. of things. They're doing eight, and I'm not saying oh they shouldn't have done so many, so much product in one thing, but I kind of am. Go on, I, give I, me I, an I, example I, where you have seen a multi bag of crisps with less of one flavour than the other. I, I'll be fuming. Not re I will admit, not recently, but I am positively certain I've seen a multi, an eight-pack multi-bag of Walkers where there was, I think, only two cheese and onion, perhaps? It does happen. It doesn't. No. Ooh. It does. Well, I'm saying no, it doesn't. Well, maybe they should make a nine-sided box and just have three of each. Correct. So... They could do it in a, in a square box. They could. Three, three, and three. It's not. It's not ridiculous. What are you doing? What are you? Do You're dividing up. Ah. Oh. Why are you damaging it? Well, because there's only one raspberry daiquiri. So look. There's I'll, not only one raspberry. Daiquiri. I'll have half. Who wants the other half? I have the other half. Because Gossy is the. Because he needs. I hope. He needs some TLC. Ah, oh, you put it on my winky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. MJ just put the cock. Tail fancy. On so which was this? The raspberry. My winky. Raspberry daiquiri. daiquiri. Raspberry daiquiri. Image on screen of the Smell, week, smells. Yeah. She does smell of like alcohol, oh. to be fair. Mm, yeah, I thought it was going to say, but mm. oh my god, the flavour, smell that. Oh. oh. What? I'm just smelling the whole box, it just smells of cardboard, babe. <laughs> yeah, it might be the cardboard, yeah, I can smell that to you, I thought it smelled. Oh, that's really Yeah, nice. it might be the cardboard I'm smelling, I thought it was cocktail. What kind of cocktails do you <laughs> have that smell of cardboard? <laughs> oh, that's lovely, I really like that one. I'm actually quite impressed because I was expecting that just to taste of raspberry. But there's definitely something else in there that makes it cocktailish. Peach one? Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. That's up there with the vanilla one for me. I love uh, that flavour. Do you not like? This is going to be a good day for food. Oh, you like I that feel, one? I feel it you in like my bones. I feel it in my bones! That was loud. I feel it! Oh, I'm getting excited. That's oh, I'm fast that now. might be my favourite fancy of all time. Oh, oh what's this? Peach. Peach. Oh, that is lovely. That goes so well. That is lovely. 
Again, smells quite nice. Smells off cocktail. I think the smells cocktail and the taste is just the flavour. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually taste cocktail when I eat it. No, but I don't. Mm, wow. Actually, wow. Mm. That's a good one. Mm. Wow. Wow. Any, any, um, anyone tell me what a peach bellini is? It's a it's champagne. A oh. It's a champagne cocktail with. I don't know peach. what makes it peach. I don't know if it's just like peach cordial or something like that, but it's um, a mm. champagne cocktail. Well, these are mixology. much better than normal ones. Fact. And so, what's the final one? Pe penis colada. Pina colada. This is probably. Okay, what is in a. Oh, this has the best smell. So what's pina colada? That's like. Is that Peach. Coconut? Pineapple and coconut. Bellini, right. Bellini cocktail is a mixture of Prosecco sparkling wine and peach puree or nectar. Ooh. This cocktail originated in. I'm going to say what city? Milan. Chicago. Chicago. Okay, um. Bellini is obviously derived from Italy, so oh, I'll, I'll say you're closer. You're going to go Milan. I'm actually going to go Rome. Rome. Would, be too, would be too obvious. So I'm going to go away with Sicily. Are either of those right? No. In which case, I'm going to go with Venice. Milano Trader. Uh, no. Correct. <laughs> Venice. Venice. Yeah, fact. So well done on getting it. Yeah, well done. Third. Just geographical third. knowledge. Third. Yeah. I mean, mm. after Venice, it probably would have been Florence or Turin, and then we would have given up because we don't know anywhere else in Italy. Only do one place. <laughs> However, I will say, hashtag football fan problems, I can probably name about 30 places in Italy. These are easily done. Atalanta. Sampdoria is not a place. Of course it is. It's in Genoa. It is what I say it is. Sampdoria is in Genoa. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't get geography on me, get football on me. The local rivals of Genoa FC. Chiappo. Elas. <laughs> get it, because Elas for Rome. No, we gave it for Rome. No. Football bands. Football bands. Foot bands. But yeah, no, Milan, and then you stopped. <laughs> um, I would have to say the Pina Clara was the weakest of those three. <laughs> Should have gone Really? With I loved all of them. Oh, and this is the last one, Pina Clara. I'm too busy talking about Italy. <laughs> did you even smell that or did you just shove it in your nose? <laughs> you look like you just I tried to ingest it through my nostrils. <laughs> Fancy that. <laughs> Fancy that? Spitting things on his cock. Fondant fancy. What a tale that was. Uh, don't be a cock. Uh, he's broken. Yeah, yeah, this is the weakest. I'd say it's the weakest. It's not bad. It's actually quite strong. Mm. It's a little bit oversweet. Mm. But I personally like it. These are far, far, far better than normal ones. Probably on par with the vanilla ones for me. I think the combination of flavours are fantastic. I love raspberry flavour things, so I love the raspberry one. Love a bit of peach. I don't like peach itself, but peach ice cream and yeah. that kind of thing, I think is incredible. Um, pina colada, big fan usually. This is really nice, if a little bit sweet. I think they are fantastic. I love it when products go a bit weird. So cocktails, I was like, that is so weird, so random, limited edition. Four, four stars. High four stars. No. Um, I would say they're pretty much on a par with normal French fantasies. Okay. I, I think that the peach is arguably better than the other three normal ones. Correct. But, but the pina colada is worse. So Correct. I, I agree Correct. with MJ. I do like the fact that they've tried something different, going with a cocktail flavouring, which you don't really see. As, no, as you don't auto. really see that in a product. No, so it's quite a clever... Alcohol imitations. Yeah, quite a clever um, iteration, if that's a word. Yeah, that is a word. Mm. What does it mean? It means... Alternative. Form of. Yeah. Oh, yes. cool. Nah. Knowledge. Drop in bombs of knowledge. Drop in N bombs. N for knowledge. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Not on this video. <laughs> Uh, oh, can we stop the fine? So yeah, overall, uh, great product, great flavours, uh, five stars. I actually, this is I think going to be, a, it might even be a recurring theme during the day, but I am actually in full agreement with pretty much everything Nate says. Um, it's Thanks the first time I've ever called him Nate. Thank Weird. you. Um, My name's Nate now. It's not. It is. It'll never be. However, there is no however. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything that contradicts what you say. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, I will. However, the raspberry daiquiri one is probably the strongest flavour, um, in my opinion. Yeah, They're lovely, they are on a par. They are on a par with the originals, like the classic, which is incredible in itself. Like, mm. what if you can think of a, of a limited edition product, which is on par with its classic flavours, 
suggest it in the most right because, question. Cause, yeah, because it is quite rare that you'll get a limited edition thing that will be so good that you'd buy it yeah, regularly with the alongside right. alongside the classic and yeah. would be as good. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it five stars. Brilliant. I'm so happy with the reviews today. Like, we were reviewing some incredible products. That's about to change. Uh, Thank you very much for watching, everyone. TV We've scene. been Food Review UK. Follow <laughs> Food Review UK on Instagram at Fruckgram. Uh, follow us on Vine, because we haven't pimped that today, uh, which I think is at Food Space Review Space UK. Correct. And also follow my comedy channel or subscribe to it, because mm -hmm. it's hilarious. Bye!